Richard, the Oma Dogs are on the cusp of a national championship. One game decides it all. We begin our team coverage of the College World Series with sports director Noah Newman. And Noah, what is it like at TD Ameritrade Park right now? Well, right now it is packed with a lot of Mississippi State fans. <laughs> Not a ton of Vanderbilt fans, but these Bulldog fans, they can feel it. All the fans we talked to today, they feel like this is finally their moment. You heard from Rafael Palmero, Bulldog legend in the Open. He said he feels like it's their time, but I tell you what, win or lose, lots of great memories being made out here. Now, let me introduce you to Mickey Milligan. He is a 1965 MSU alum. He's here for the first time with his wife, Carol, daughters, Stephanie and Deborah, and grandchildren, Stephen and Addison. Now, they originally came out to celebrate Father's Day, but hey, they ended up staying to celebrate Mickey and Carol's anniversary, and Mickey is having an absolute blast cheering on his alma mater. Well, it's amazing. They seem to come back in the seventh, eighth, or ninth inning. Now, last night, we relaxed, so that was great. <laughs> so we're hoping maybe they'll do that again tonight. But, uh, you know, your, your heart has to be real strong to be a Mississippi State fan. <laughs> Let me tell you that. It's been wonderful. We started out thinking we would just have a long weekend with Dad for Dad's Day, and then it wound up being this is our 12th day here, and we celebrated their anniversary, and then some other family members came along. It's just really special. It's like... Um, walk around it feels like a home football game there's so many fans here and uh, we just love our bulldogs and are just rooting for them and hope for a win tonight let's go dogs! every fan out here has some kind of story just about how much this game means to them and how much a national championship would mean to them now mickey said he wants a a game that you know mississippi state might have a comfortable lead that he doesn't have to sweat it out that might not happen it could but both teams have their best pitchers going. You have Kamar Rocker, who's going to be a first-round pick. You have Will Bedner, who is starting for Mississippi State on three days rest. He's going to be a first-round pick. You still have a fresh Landon Sims to possibly close it out. And uh, Maldonado and Murphy for Vanderbilt, they're two best relievers. So I wouldn't expect a 10-run game tonight. This one feels like it could be a nail blade. Six o'clock, national championship on the line. In Omaha, Noah Newman, Sports Zone 12.